I'm going to show you how you can upgrade both the domain functional level as well as the forest functional level within Active Directory. I'll first show you how to do it using PowerShell and then how you can do it using the domains and trust snapping. For a full written guide and all the commands that are used within this video, I will link the blog post in the video description. So to start, I'm logged onto my primary domain controller and I'm going to right click the start menu and run PowerShell as admin. I'm currently logged in as the domain administrator, but you can do it with any account that is within domain admin security group. So the first thing I want to do is check our domain controllers. So if we run the following commands, which I'll link in the blog post, which is the get ad domain controllers, we want to check that all of our domain controllers are running at least Windows Server 2016. If you have any domain controllers which are older than that, you'll need to demote them before you can do this process. But in my domain, I've just got one domain controller and it's Windows Server 2022. Once we've identified that all of our domain controllers are at least Server 2016, we can run the following command, which is get dash ad domain, and it will tell us what our current domain mode is for our domain. And we can see that we are running Windows 2012 R2, which is the domain functional level. And then if we run get dash ad forest, we can check our forest functional level, and we can see that we are running Windows 2012 R2. So the first one we'll need to upgrade is the domain functional level, as we need to do that one first. So to do that, we can run the set dash ad domain dash identity, and then our local active directory domain name, and then dash domain mode as windows 2016 domain. When we run this, it will ask us to confirm. And then if we press a, which is yes to all that will then upgrade our domain functional level. And then if we run the previous command, which is get dash ad domain, we can see that the domain functional level is now running on Windows Server 2016. So now we've done our domain functional level, we now need to do our forest functional level, which can be done by using the set dash ad forest mode dash identity, and then the name of your local Active Directory domain dash forest mode, and then Windows 2016 forest. And then when we run that, we can press A, which is yes to all, and that will upgrade our forest functional level. And then we can run the get dash ad forest command. And then we can see that is now upgraded from 2012 R2 to Windows 2016. So that's how you can upgrade your domain functional level and your forest functional level using PowerShell. And now we'll show you how to do it using the GUI. So to upgrade the domain and forest functional levels using the GUI, we'll want to follow the same basic process. And the first thing we want to do is open Active Directory Users and Computers and then browse to our domain controllers OU and then just check all of our domain controllers that the operating system is running at least Windows Server 2016. In this case, I've only got one and it's 2022, so that will be fine. And then once we've confirmed that, we can close Active Directory and then run Active Directory Domains and Trusts. Within Domains and Trusts, we can come down to our local Active Directory domain and then right click and press Raise Domain Functional Level. This will tell us our current functional level is Windows Server 2012 R2. And then in this drop down, we can see what functional levels are available to be upgraded to. We can select 2016 and then press raise and then press OK. That will tell us our functional level was raised successfully. We can press OK. And then now if we come back to raise functional level, we can see that we are now running our domain functional level 2016. So to upgrade the forest functional level, all we need to do is right click the Active Directory Domains and Trusts and do raised forest function level. It will tell us we're running 2012R2 and we've got 2016 that is available to upgrade to. So we can select raise and then OK. It will tell us it was raised successfully. Then we can press OK again and then right click and then raise forest function level. And we can see that we are now running Windows Server 2016 as our forest function level. So that's how to use the GUI to raise both the domain functional level and the forest functional level.